There is one more example that I wanted to do for you from section 8.4, the addition of water to the alkene, just to make sure that you totally understand the reaction. Let's say we have this alkene, and you remember this is an acid catalyzed reaction, so uh, sometimes the Reagent is written as sulfuric acid. Sometimes it's written as hydronium or as water with H+. We'll go ahead and write this one again with sulfuric acid. In this mechanism, the electrons from the pi bond go after the hydrogen in the acid and break a hydrogen-oxygen bond, and the hydrogen that's attacked by the pi cloud of electrons is added to the alkene in the position that produces the most stable carbocation. So for this alkene, the hydrogen is going to either add here, up here, which would put the positive charge on this carbon, a secondary carbocation, or the hydrogen would add down here putting the positive charge on this carbon, which produces a tertiary carbocation. The tertiary carbocation is more stable, so that's the intermediate that we're going to form. And there'll be a hydrogen added down here on this carbon. I'm not going to draw it in. And that carbocation gets attacked by a molecule of water. The water molecule is deprotonated, leaving an OH group like that. That's the end of section 8.4. I do want you to write a study question, and I think you can write a short summary for this section, even though it's not very big. Make sure that you do understand the reagents that you use to produce an alcohol from an alkene. Make sure that you understand it's an equilibrium process. Don't forget to remind yourself to practice rearranging secondary carbocations to form tertiaries if possible.